What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you the easiest way to create structured data markup for any page on your website. So let's dive in. Your first step is to access the link in the description or in the comment section below. This is going to give you access to the Schema Markup Master. This GPT has been trained on the schema.org database to ensure that it's accurate. If you already know the type of schema markup that you want to create, you're just going to simply ask the GPT to build it for you. But if you're unsure of what to create, ask it to crawl and analyze your page to generate a comprehensive list of schema properties and types that you can include. This will give you a detailed list based on the page that you've provided. In our first example, I'm looking at a local pizzeria, and the Schema Markup Master noticed this and is now providing relevant information. While you can ask our GPT to create the Schema Markup for you in one shot, I'm actually going to go through it line by line to ensure that it's accurate and to show you how we can validate it. I've asked our GPT to create the organization schema based on the content of the home page. It was able to provide me with everything except for the same as property. So I would just go into the code and I would copy and paste the Facebook and Instagram profiles to ensure that it's accurate. I've copied our structured data and I've added it to the schema.org validator to ensure that is correct. At this point, I would advise the client to add it to the header section of their CMS. For our second example, I'm going to be looking at Elgato's About page, which currently doesn't have any schema on it. In this instance, I knew what structured data I wanted to add to this page, so I've provided that information to our GPT. Based on my prompt, the Schema Markup Master crawled, analyzed the page, and extracted all of the content from it. It then provided us with our JSON-LD code, in which case we can copy it, scroll down to the link that's a schema markup validator and validate our work. This time around, our GPT was able to access the social media profiles and provided that information. For a third example, we're going to be taking a look at this LG curved gaming monitor and creating the product structure data for it. I've asked our schema markup master to crawl and analyze the product page and then create product schema using the information that's on the page. And it was able to do exactly that. We have the details about the product, including its name and its description. We have the current offer, including its price. And then we also have the details that LG has called out on their page, so the Schema Markup Master has done likewise. Like last time, I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to click on the link that it provided. That's going to open up the Schema Markup Validator. We're going to click Code Snippet and paste our code. If everything was done correctly, you should see zero errors and zero warnings. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it informative and I hope that it makes your life a lot easier. I know it certainly is going to help mine. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up anyway. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, this is Todd.